Harriet said you're taking a break between jobs. Girls only weekends. It sounds nice. But we have to go to a picnic at Harry's new boss's house. It must be Olivia. Glenn, right? They met at the hospital that night. Where's Harry? Girl or boy? Little girl. Same here. I have to take the baby for a couple minutes. We need to run a few tests. Your baby didn't make it. <laughs> You were the nurse in my delivery room. Did you help deliver Brooke and Glenn's baby as well? Yeah, I did. Brooke! Hello to you again. They don't understand what you're going through. I mean, postpartum depression on top of grief? Liv, what's going on? I need to get this house ready for a baby. Brooke and Glenn went out last night. <gasps> they found the nanny dead in the pool. She's probably gonna need some help with the baby. I was actually thinking that we should invite them over for dinner. Hey, where's your uh, bathroom? I saw Olivia breastfeeding. She needs help with it. It makes me happy to spend time with my baby. Brooke's baby. Hello? You started helping Brooke after the nanny had died, is that right? You think that I killed her so that I could take her job? Okay, just try to stay calm. Can you meet me at the park? Restraining order. The security guard said Olivia's outside. Stay away from the windows. I'm not responsible for any of the weird things that are happening. The delivery room nurse. I was on my way to meet her when I slapped a restraining order against me. I found a receipt at her house for $50,000. One payment for one baby. You were the only other woman in the ward that night. I knew from the moment I saw that baby. Shut up! I lost my baby once. I will not lose her again.